Check out the light on this cordless screwdriver. Really nice to have when you're working in a low light environment. Hey everyone, Digital David here today in this video, I'm gonna be checking out the Fantic Next L1 Pro cordless screwdriver set. I did receive this product to review, but any opinion expressed in this video is strictly my own. That being said, if you're interested in this product, you wanna find out more about it, the link to it will be in my video description below. You can see the nice retail box and packaging right here, walking us through some of the product, tech specs and key features. We also have their logo and branding all throughout the packaging. This is a 14 piece kit. So let's go ahead, let's open it up and look at the contents. Here are all the package contents. First up, we have an awesome customer service and contact card that's also a magnet. Next, you can see we have our user guide and manual available in multiple languages. We have a table of contents. Then you can see we have our product introduction and walking us through the torque settings and which items are best for which setting. Very helpful, definitely reference that in the future. LED flashlight options as well too. They walk you through charging and the indicator lights. Then you can see we have our tech specs on this page. It weighs 340 grams. We have safety instructions. We have maintenance and service tips. And then you can see we have our warranty information right here, complete with their customer service email address. Next, you can see we have the kit itself right here with their logo and branding. We can look at it from all different sides and angles. We have this nice little lever just to slide to unlock the kit. And now you can see we can open up the case. So now let's go ahead, let's look at this in more detail. So check it out, here's our cordless screwdriver with the Fantic logo and branding, Next L1 right there. Big trigger in red, I like the red and gray color scheme. You can see it from all different sides and angles. So we have our USB type C charging port. We have all of our buttons and controls up here with our different torque settings. We have our built-in flashlight right there. And you can see with the trigger, obviously we can press it to start using the drill. Here's all of our different accessories, so check it out. You can see the different tips and extensions that we have. Really nice, very easy and clean storage to find everything. They also include a USB Type-A to USB Type-C charging cable that you can conveniently store and keep in the case as well. So now let's go ahead, let's try it out. So first thing you have to do is go ahead, select the bit you wanna use and get it installed in the screwdriver. So go ahead, press this away from you and then drop your bit in place release it and now you can see it's not going to fall out it's firmly in place and you're ready to start using it repeat that step in reverse order when you're ready to swap out the bits or to put everything away now we're ready to make our adjustments right here the arrow key is going to be either forward or we have reverse depending on the direction that you want to go and then we have our torque settings right here so one is the lowest setting and then we can go all the way up to six, or you can choose something in between depending on the item that you're working on. Now, let's try it out. So we got a desktop computer right here, and we're gonna remove the panels and prep our graphics card slot right here using the cordless screwdriver. So first up, make sure you have the correct torque settings. I highly recommend using a lower power and increasing as necessary, but be careful not to strip any screws, especially for sensitive electronics. So in this case, we have one set, which is our minimum torque setting, and we have reverse because we're gonna be driving these screws out of the case. So let's start right here. We're just gonna line it up and gently loosen everything. Same with this side. There we go. We should be able to get the panel off right now. It should just gently come off thanks to our nice screwdriver. So check that out. We got that removed very easily. Now we have two more screws. We're gonna take this whole bracket off right here. We're gonna do the same thing. So we're gonna line it up, you just gently twist it till it comes off. And you can see same thing for the bottom side. So we got that removed very easily. Now we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna change our setting. We want the direction now to tighten and fasten everything in place. And we're gonna put this bracket back on so you guys can see. So I'm gonna use my fingers first to get it started, just like so. And then we'll come down here, we'll do the same thing just finger tight to start. And now watch as we drive it in. Again, we're just gonna use the one setting. It's got plenty of power for us as it drives it in place right where we want it. You can see that. 
Same with the other one. So there we go. It was successful in removing the screws and also installing the screws with our desktop computer. Now you can see I got a wood board right here and three screws in place. We're gonna test out those torque settings so you guys can see what it's like to go from the torque setting one, which is the lowest, to three, all the way up to six. So first things first, let me show you the settings right here. So you can see we have one and we want to drive the screw down into the board. So let's go ahead, let's start off with one right here. So we have it lined up and watch what happens as we try to drive it in. You can see we do and we have success driving it in, but then it stops. So watch again. You can see it stops there and now we can give it another go, but we are able to drive it in. Now let's jump up to three with our torque settings and let's do the middle one. Now watch what happens. So you can see we're able to continue to drive it into the board, no issues there. And now let's jump up to six, which is our maximum torque setting. Line it up and let's drive it in. So you can see same thing, no issues there, using three or six to drive this screw into the wood. Now keep in mind, I'm not expecting you, nor should you use this to build a deck or anything like that, but it's a very versatile product you can use all throughout the house for different types of repairs or assembly like DIY furniture building. Obviously, like we showed you in this video, electronics repair, you could use this for your wall switch covers, that sort of thing if you're doing a lot of electrical work around your house and you wanna save some time and your muscle fatigue, hand fatigue from using a screwdriver manually, this is definitely gonna be a good choice. Now let's repeat that same test, but this time let's drive the screws out. So you can see we have six in our speed setting, and now we have it into reverse. So let's go ahead, let's take the screw and let's drive it out. So there we go, you can see it came out just fine. Now let's go ahead, let's adjust our torque setting down to three. Let's repeat that. No issues there as well. And now let's go to one. And you can see we're able to get the screws out using all of the different torque settings. So let me share with you guys now my final thoughts after using this cordless screwdriver. First, I wanna point out this does feature a 2000 milliamp hour battery that can last up to 260 screws. So this does come with a very decent battery life. And I really like the performance that we get out of this cordless screwdriver and the fact that we can customize the torque settings from one all the way to six. Very simple to use. The controls are literally right at your fingertips and the display is nice and easy to read. Comfortable to hold in your hand if you're gonna be using this for long projects like DIY furniture assembly, you'll appreciate having a tool like this. The trigger is great, very comfortable again, and easy to operate. I think the only thing I'd wanna change with this in the future is to have some sort of hinge or pivot right here so we could also adjust this handle to go all the way up so then we could have basically 180 degree use of the handle and adjust it wherever we want, maybe 90 degrees, all the way up to 180 degrees to get some of those hard to reach areas. But overall, very comfortable, easy to use, and a solid choice if you're looking for a cordless screwdriver. Well, that concludes our video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget the product link will be in our video description below. Please go ahead, check it out, and do your shopping from there. Any purchase made through that link helps support our channel at no additional cost to you. So we're really grateful and thankful for all of your support. While you're at it, can you go ahead and hit that like button for us? and subscribe to our channel. We have new content coming out daily and we don't want you to miss anything. Please go ahead and give us a follow online and make it a clean sweep. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Twitch, TikTok, Discord. You can message us on WeChat, check out our website and join our free newsletter. Thank you guys so much for being here. Don't forget new content daily and we can't wait to see you in our next video.